Morning guys, uh, you obviously clicked on this video because you want to see how to install a booster pump for your Jojo tank. Here is the booster pump in question. I'm going to take you through the wiring, well it's going to be a journey of discovery on my side as well. Wiring and then connecting the pump and priming it and turning it on and seeing if it works. So what I've done on my side is I have this plug point and the Jojo tank is just on the other side of this wall. So what I have done so far is drill a hole over here straight through the wall. It wasn't as difficult as I thought. Just drilled through the bricks with a long drill bit like so. Don't be, int don't be intimidated to do these things guys. It's DIY is is definitely worth it instead of paying someone to install it so the holes through there I'm going to have a piece of wire uh, I have got some flat cable wire nah. here we go I've got some of this cable got live neutral and earth I'm going to attach a plug to this and the other side of the cable is going to go through the wall and it's going to attach to the pump uh, so let's get started shall we here is our setup starting from the wire that we've got through the wall I've got the booster pump on some solid concrete uh, stepping stones. I'm going to drill it down. I then have this pipe over here. Is this going to work? Okay, let me get a tripod. Okay, guys, <clears throat> here's the plan. Got the concrete slabs pump is going to be drilled onto the concrete slabs. <clears throat> this tap, this is a hose extender for the Jojo tank to the pump. So this end is going to be taped up and it's going to go into the pump. This end's already taped up. And this is going to go, it's going to be a replacement for this tap. I'm going to screw that off and screw this in. The challenge we have is that there is water in this tank. So it's going to be quite entertaining, me unscrewing this tap and screwing this in. But let's see how that goes. Here goes nothing. Make sure this is closed. It is closed. Oh shit. <coughs> Jesus. Fuck. Okay. I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. So that was more than anticipated. Um, I usually have the hose pipe on you and it's a little trickle, but I'm guessing the wider diameter created a more substantial flow. Okay, so the next step is to tape up this pipe, which is going to go into this pump, and then the flow controller, which goes on top. 
here is the flow controller you can see I removed the wires from the housing so what happens is this goes to your power this goes to your power which is the cable that I've got through the wall here we then have this transfer box which is this is the flow controller then it goes from this section over here this the these terminals over here into the pump <clears throat> so we're powering both the flow controller and the pump at the same time the purpose of the flow controller is to as it says on the box to control the flow going through the pump uh, its primary purpose is to turn the pump off when it's not being used so if we turn off the tap the pump will automatically stop another tip I've gotten is when you're putting on your tape putting put it on in the opposite direction of the threads because when you thread this on you don't want your tape to go in the same uh, in the same orientation as the way you are turning the threads because then the tape will come off That is nice and secure. Now we take the other end to our tank and clamp it on nicely. So. Right, slip to secure the pump, but that is the idea. Looking good. So I've got this enclosure. This is supposed to be a waterproof enclosure. I'm going to put that over here. Anyone can do DIY. Anyone can. Can't need my screwdriver. I'll be back. Okay, so here's the update. Just neatened up this cable over here. Got a plug on it. And then we go around. this is looking so I'll attach this to the wall soon with some brackets here's my power going into the cable for the pump so now just need to plug it in and hope nothing explodes before we do that we need to prime prime the pump so I'm gonna put the water on and I'm going to undo this bolt here and release any air bubbles that might be lurking around. I'm going to turn on the water and we're going to check for some leaks. Okay, the water is on. Looks like it might be. No, looks fine. Let's do this just to see if there's any air bubbles. Release any air. Okay, looks good. Okay, let's give it a test run. Okay guys, 
we're gonna so we've altered down the pump um, we're gonna turn it on and see what happens and we're hoping it all goes smoothly so let's give it a bash oh it works it works it works it works guys i'm so happy i i turned it on earlier and it kept on tripping so i undid this screw over here and i undid this screw over there was a tiny water bottle there was a tiny bubble you have to make very sure should turn off now voila there was a tiny bubble when i opened up that uh screw there oh pretty chuffed with this so you can do it by yourself thanks for watching guys